This is a video that will talk about AWS load balancers. In particular, I'm going to focus on the network load balancer. So currently, AWS offers three types of load balancers. There's the application load balancer, the network load balancer, and the classic load balancer. And as you can see, the classic load balancer is grayed out, which means it's essentially going away. It's end of life. That was their first generation of load balancers, and that's going away. So basically, there's only two types of load balancers, the application load balancer and the network load balancer. And the difference between these two load balancers is where they um, are, are located on the OSI uh, model. So here is the OSI model on the left. There's the application layer, the presentation session, transport network data, and physical layers. So the application load balancer is a layer seven uh, load balancer. It runs at the highest level of the OSI model. And the network load balancer is a layer four uh, network uh, load balancer because it's on the it's on the fourth layer uh, in that, and, uh, of the OSI model. So a AWS has these things called security groups, and security groups are basically walls around uh, resources. So for example, you can have a security group around an EC2 instance, and you can have a security group around um, a load balancer. And then the, So in this case, I'm showing that uh, the application load balancer has a security group around it. And um, and so interestingly enough, the network load balancer does not have a security group, and that kind of threw me off for that kind of threw me off for a little bit because um, when you're when you're configuring load balancers and you're pointing them to EC2 instances, you need to um, allow the EC2 instance to accept traffic from your load balancer. So how do you do that if the network load balancer doesn't have a security group? So when you're specifying security group rules, you can specify either uh, CIDR blocks or security groups. So the question is, what is the IP address of the network load balancer? And that's a little bit tricky to find, so I had to do a little bit of digging. So I, um, I used the AWS CLI and I ran an AWS EC2 describe network interface command, which lists all the network interfaces in my account. And after some scrolling, I found the network load balancer and I found the private IP address that AWS associated to my network load balancer. And you can see it right here. So once I had that IP address, I was able to um, add it to the security group rules around my EC2 instance. So then the network load balancer was able to talk to my EC2 instance on port 5150. And one thing to notice too, when I was configuring my network load balancer, I used private IPs versus instance IDs. So that is an option when you configure the network load balancer. <coughs> and so let's do a quick demo. So let's go to the AWS console. And you can see um, this is an application load balancer. And if I scroll down, uh, you can see the security group right here for the application load balancer. And if I select the network load balancer, there's no security group. They, for whatever reason, it's just not there. And here are the listeners. So I'm listening on port 5150, and I'm using a, the TCP protocol. And so let's go to our targets. So this is what uh, our target group looks like. We're on port 5150. Uh, we have one server there and it's healthy. And so let's look at some of the code. So that server, that EC2 instance is running this server uh, code. So this is the server in its entirety. It's really simple. It is a TCP server program. It's using the net library in Node.js and um, this is the server. So this is running on that, on that instance and this is the client code that we're going to execute to connect to the server. So the DNS um, address of our network load balancer looks like this. So I added an entry in Route 53 
that points to our network load balancer. So we can simply uh, use uh, a shorter, abbreviated, nicer version of, of the network load balancer instead of using this big, long, nasty thing in our code. So let's uh, so the, let's look at the client. So the client code essentially just goes through a loop uh, five times. We wait two seconds, and we're going to send a number to the server, and the server is going to double it. The client will read that number, and then we'll send it back again, and the server will double that, and the client reads it and sends it back again, and we'll double that, and we do that five times. So let's just run to run, run this so we'll see that we open a connection so we sent a one to the server the server doubled it sending a two server doubles that Send 16 1632 and then we close and that is our little TCP network load balancer demo